Hi, what's happening guys? Mike here from Amit Fitness again and in today's video I want to talk to you about the best times to train, the absolute best. Alright, coming up. Okay, so the times I'm actually talking about are times when you're feeling different emotions like angry, sad, and things like that. Now, the first one I want to cover is when you're angry. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've definitely had a lot of angry times uh, in the gym or just if you've got like a stressful day or something. You go to the gym, you're pretty annoyed. Now, I don't know about you, but by the end of it, I'm not that angry because at the end of the day, iron is iron, weights are weights, and let's face it, you can't beat them. As much as you try, well, they're gonna beat you, but in a good way, all right? So this is some good stress that we're actually causing on ourselves within the gym as long as it's practiced safely. All right, so I've actually hit some of my best PBs uh, when I've gone into the gym angry, someone's annoyed me, or I've just had a really frustrating day, and I've hit the gym, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna absolutely annihilate the deadlift today. I think uh, it was probably about a year ago when I hit the 220. I mean, by now I've done uh, a 250 PB, but that 220 day was like just out of nowhere. I wasn't even doing legs. Uh, and I just wanted to take my anger out on something and it just happened to be the barbell with a crap load of plates on it. And it felt amazing. I think the whole PB psyched me up, so that made me feel really good. But by the end of the session, I mean, your body releases all these hormones and chemicals that just makes you feel absolutely amazing. <clears throat> now, the second emotion is when you're sad, all right? I just absolutely love the gym. I mean, it's just, it's like your go-to place, whether it be with a training partner or not. If you need to be by yourself, it's a great place just to go, chuck your headphones in, just get into your own space and your own vibe and just get your feeling back, get your groove back, all right? I'll admit it, I've actually cried at the gym while doing a session, um, probably multiple times, like, there's been times where I've just absolutely had it and you know, like some days can just break me. Um, doesn't even have to be here, but yeah, other places too, like, you know, I've just gone in and by the end of it, you think logically, you think a lot better, obviously all your blood's running to your brain and your serotonin and uh, dopamine levels are up and you can think a lot clearer, all right? So a lot of your hormones have a lot to do with the way you think, they can block uh, and hinder the way you think. All right? so if you're too angry or, or pretty much, if you're too much of one thing, you're really not gonna be able to uh, think that clearly, all right? And I really think the gym is almost the best thing for you when it comes to clarity. It just makes everything better. Like, that's why I love the gym. I mean, if you haven't already heard on uh, some of my previous videos, I suffer from pretty severe OCD, or at least I used to. It uh, used to be a lot worse uh, than it is now. But it was pretty much my go-to place, and it, yeah, I haven't gone back, obviously, because I've built my own gym, all right? And another emotion I wanted to talk to you about is stress. When you're having a stressful day, or you've just had a stressful week, or you're just stressed in general, let's say you've got anxiety, all right? So OCD, like me, um, actually comes from the family of anxiety, and it's just, it is such a good place to go to. I mean, you can, like I said, again, get that clarity, get that focus. If you've got some headphones in, make sure they're good. Just block everything out and get into your own space. And I see weightlifting or even just any type of activity within the gym or outside, it doesn't really have to be the gym, but get into your own space. It's like a kind of meditation. Uh, you really wanna focus on pretty much exactly what you're doing. Like if you're doing the bicep curl or bench or any exercise, really focus on the muscles. All right, if you've done any meditation in the past, you really know that it's about controlling the brain. So what happens when you're in an, uh, pretty much a state of anxiety or a really stressful situation? The brain actually speeds up at such a rate that that's why you feel all tight inside um, and it just increases cortisol levels. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna feel a lot heightened, all right, and that's why everything's everything seems all, almost more dramatic. All right, so the gym or any activity is a great way to really regulate those levels, bring down cortisol levels. In saying that, cortisol levels as long as you don't train too long, because they can be uh, too long as well. So I'm probably recommending under an hour, but still, 
you can definitely reduce all those, get some clarity, get some focus, make sure that the blood's running everywhere through your body, and you can just take all your emotions out in the gym, all right? And you can, it's almost like a meditative process. And pretty much when you're feeling good, that's the last emotion when you, when you just feel awesome. Go to the gym. Win-win, every single time. <laughs> that's where I'm trying to get at with this video, guys. It is. There's no better time to go to the gym. I mean, I don't even want to use the phrase of killing two birds in one stone. You're hitting so many things with one stone, it's not even funny. Like, the amount that activity and fitness has to do with the human mind, the body, lifestyle, the spirit, whatever you want to call it, it just, it benefits all around. Right? And yeah, it's been an absolute life changer for me and that's why I pretty much started this gym and I want to pretty much push those feelings to others as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Get down to the gym, train hard, make sure you get that diet on point. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you liked the video, guys. Jump across to our YouTube channel and give that a subscribe to keep up to date on our weekly motivation and tips to help you on your weight loss journey. Also, take a look at the videos down below for some humor, some laughs, and some free workouts and more motivation. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.